guys so today I'm going to be doing my April wrap-up and May TBR and I hope you guys are excited about this video because I know that I haven't done wrap-up slash TBRs for the past two months I think which is absolutely insane because I love doing my wrap-up videos and TBR videos because I know you guys really enjoy them and I enjoy them too and it's fun to tell you guys what I've been reading and all of my star ratings and what I hope to be reading in the next month and it's all really fun but I had been in the worst reading slump ever. Honestly, I don't know what was going on, and I know that I've been saying this a lot lately, I don't know what's been happening with me, but I've just been going off into these little reading slumps, and it's just, it's been so hard to get out of them. Lately, when I've been going through a reading slump, I've thought the best way to pick it up is to read something different, and that's exactly what I did, and I ended up actually reading five novels, two audiobooks, and three novellas this month, and I'm really proud of that. That's about ten books in total, and I'm really excited about that because, you know, I've gotten all the way back up to my reading goal and I'm on track again which is awesome because I was falling behind like five books behind because of my slump but I'm really excited about that and I read my first audiobook ever and it's just all been really great so I'm going to share with you guys what I've been reading and then I'll get to my TBR. So at the beginning of my reading slump I decided to pick up Delirium by Lauren Oliver which is a dystopian series that follows this young girl named Lena who lives in a world where love is a disease and you can't be in love with people it's bad and they believe that love is the root of all evil evil and basically you get this surgery when you turn 18 to make you immune to love but Lena has some other plans you know ahead of her so that's very interesting and it's a three book series it's a trilogy so there's also Pandemonium and Requiem right here and I have a full series review on my channel of this series if you want to go watch it whether you've read the series or you haven't there's a spoiler free section that gives you a little bit more detail about what's going to be going on in this series so I loved that I gave Delirium 5 out of 5 stars, Pandemonium 4 out of 5 stars and Requiem 4.5 out of 5 stars but also what I wanted to talk about is this little guy here this is Delirium Stories by Lauren Oliver, Hannah, Annabel, and Raven so I read these three novellas that go with the Delirium series and I gave Hannah 3.5 out of 5 stars and about 4 out of 5 stars and Raven 4 out of 5 stars. I have to say I think Raven was my favorite and I didn't really like Raven in the Delirium series but in this um, little short story that's about her I truly enjoyed it and it was so heartbreaking and no spoilers or anything but if you've read the series and you read Raven's novella you know what I'm talking about it's just it's heartbreaking but I loved it and so this was a really fun little addition to go with that series because I loved the series so much it's one of my new all-time favorite series so I'm glad that I had a little something else to read after I finished the series since I was on quite the Lauren Oliver kick this month, I decided to pick up yet another one of her books. This is a standalone called Before I Fall, and I had had this on my bookshelf for almost a year, and I finally got around to reading it, and it's one of my friend's favorite books, so she told me I needed to read it, and a lot of you guys actually told me to read it. And this basically follows a girl, and her name's Sam, and Sam is kind of popular. She, like, hangs out with the cool kids. She goes to parties. She has this perfect life and this perfect boyfriend, and one day, it's like a couple days before Valentine's Day, she wakes up, goes to school like normal everything's cool she goes to this party and then she gets in a car accident so from this blackness that she's in she wakes up in her bed at home on the same day that she woke up before and it's a couple days before Valentine's Day again and it's the same exact day as yesterday it's the same date but she's the only one that knows that that day already occurred and basically the whole story is just her living her day and then getting in the car accident again or getting in something else again and dying and then waking up the next day and it's the same day. So she basically has to figure out how to get out of this like reoccurring situation and I gave this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I did enjoy it. I thought it was interesting enough but it did get a little bit repetitive as you might be able to figure out you know it's really just the same day over and over again and that's not a spoiler that's what the book is about but towards the end it got a little bit boring just because it was so repetitive to that point but I did enjoy the story. I thought it was interesting. The ending was a little iffy for me. I wasn't sure if it was like a perfect ending but 3.5 out of 5 stars I think is a deserving rating for this book and I did overall enjoy it so yes. Next book I have here is First There Was Forever by Juliana Romano and I actually have a full book talk on this one if you're interested. I'll have that linked down below along with my Delirium book talk. And this is a book that follows two girl best friends. One of them is a little bit more popular and a partier. The other one is a little bit more of a homebody and likes to just study and stuff. And the one that's kind of the more partier starts to drift away from this other girl who we're in this perspective of the girl that's like the homebody. And um, 
the part of your girl starts to kind of drift away and causing her to make new friends and hang out with her best friend's crush who doesn't really like her best friend but happens to kind of like her and they kind of start this secret thing without the best friend knowing. I gave this book three out of five stars. I thought it was interesting and I enjoyed the story but I wasn't really connected to it in any way. It didn't make me think deeply about my life or anything like that but it was fun while it lasted and I did enjoy it. So if you want to watch the full book talk and get a little bit more of a summary on this one if it sounds interesting to you, again the link will be below. If you had watched my goal video for the year back in January, you might have known that I wanted to read an audiobook this year. I've never read or listened to, I guess, an audiobook before, and I decided that this was the month to do so, and I'm really happy that I did. The first audiobook that I picked up is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? It was basically just a memoir all about Tina Fey's life, and it was narrated by Tina Fey, and I think she is so funny, and I love her, and I just I thought it would be a great one to start out with and it was and it was so fun to listen to. I gave Bossy Pants four to five stars. I really enjoyed listening to it while I was getting ready in the morning or while I was driving. It was just like a great thing to have. Like you can listen to books while you're driving. It's so convenient, right? I'm just figuring this out. After I finished Bossy Pants, I decided to pick up Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres and I loved this one. I think Ellen is so funny and she's such a sweet person and I just want to give her like all the hugs. She is just such an amazing woman and I love her and I loved this book. It was so fun to listen to her. It was again narrated by Ellen and it was so fun to listen to and I loved it so I gave that one four out of five stars as well. So that is everything that I read in the month of April and now I'm going to move on to my TBR for the month of May. I have quite a few new releases actually to talk about that I don't have physical copies of yet of course but I do have them listed here in my journal and the first one that I'm very excited that is coming out this month is The Air by Kira Cass which is the selection series fourth book. It's almost like a spin-off series but it's not and that comes out on May 5th so that's very soon and I'm so excited about it. The selection is one of my all-time favorite series and I'm so excited to kind of continue in this world and I'm not going to give a summary of what the air is going to be about just because it would spoil the selection so unless you've read the selection don't go look up what the air is but if you've read the selection and you don't know about the air which you must know um go look it up and let me know if you're excited about it because I'm so excited because I just love that series so it's going to be really fun. The next one that I have here is You Deserve a Drink by Mamrie Hart coming out on the 26th. Uh, Mamrie Hart is a YouTuber here on YouTube obviously and she has a series called you deserve a drink where she makes you know alcoholic beverages when she supports her favorite actors and youtubers and other types of things that you know are going around in pop culture and I just love her I think she's so funny and she's such a smart woman and I, I love her I love Mamrie so much she puts a smile on my face so I'm very excited to read her book which I believe is going to be a memoir and I think that's gonna be really fun and I, I love her so I'm very excited to get that one and the last one that's actually coming out this month is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han which is also coming out on the 26th and and this is the follow-up book to To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which I read back in December and I absolutely loved. I love Jenny Han. I think she's a great author and I love her Summer Return Pretty series and I loved um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. So I'm very excited to read the second book. I believe it's going to be a duology, so just those two books, but I'm excited to finish out Lara or Lara's, you know, story. I don't know how to say her name. It's L-A-R-A Jean and I think that's either Lara or Lara, but my name is L-A-U-R-A and I say it like Lara, so I don't know. It's very confusing to me. But yes, I'm very excited to read that book. I think it'll be great. So yes, that's always exciting. I have two more books that are on my TBR for this month, so I'm going to show you guys them now. The first one here is Shatter Me by Tahera Mafi. I finally am picking this one up. I am so excited about this book. You have no idea. I'm actually buddy reading this with one of my friends here on YouTube, Oh, it's Mandy, and if you don't know her, she does booktube videos. I'll have her link down below, but she saw that I hauled this and she was like, girl, we got to do a buddy read, and I was like, yes, we do. So we're going to be starting this very soon and buddy reading it, and I think it's going to be so fun. I've never done a buddy read before, so I'm excited, and I'm excited about this book, so it's just going to be so much fun, and I'm so excited, and yes, shatter me. I don't really know too much about what this is about, and that's about a girl whose touch is lethal, because it says it right there. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be good. So yeah, let me know about this book. I know all of you guys told me to read. Like literally, I had a book haul the other day, and I called this, and all of you were like, "You have to read Shatter Me," and I was like, "That's why I bought it. I plan to." So yes, I'm very excited about this one. 
And the last book on my TBR I actually hauled the other day too, and that is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wonga, I believe. And I'm very excited about this book. I think it's going to be amazing. It's basically, from what I have heard about this girl who is depressed and wants to commit suicide, but she's too scared to do it on her own, so she finds this other kid that is around her age that also wants to commit suicide, and they start hanging out and plotting their deaths together, and they're going to decide to do it together, but then she ends up falling for him and doesn't want to kill herself, but he still does, and it gets complicated and I think it sounds super dark but super intriguing and I'm very excited to read it. I've heard nothing but great things about this book and I think it's going to be great so I'm very excited and I'll definitely do a book talk on this one because I think I need to do a book talk on this one whether I don't like it or I do just because I need to spread the word so I'm excited about this one and let me know if you've read it. So that is going to be my wrap up slash TBR. Let me know all of the books that you have read in April and what you plan to read in May. I'd be super interested to know. And let me know anything else that you'd like to let me know in a comment below. And make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye! She's so lovely.